Have you been trying to add a link over to your associated website using YouTube cards or end screens over the past few days and you've run into a problem? I've had my YouTube account for years and it's in good standing and I've been adding links through end screens and cards to all of my videos. And then recently I uploaded a new video and I wanted to add an end screen and a card to it linking over to my website and then I found I just couldn't add links anymore. I came over here to the card section for example and I tried adding a new card and when I clicked over here to add card and create a link, this section right here you can link to your associated website wasn't here anymore. All I saw when I tried to add a link was merchandise sites or crowdfunding sites. I no longer had the link URLs, all my associated websites to link over to. They weren't available anymore. Again, I went back and I checked and everything's in good standing. It so showed my associated website was still in my account. You go over to the channel settings and you can look into the advanced section and see your associated websites down here. It was still good. It still had the green success on it, but I wasn't able to add any new links. So I contacted the YouTube support forum and there's actually a big thread over there and I'm going to add a link to that thread down in the description of this video so you can see it. And basically what YouTube did is around August the 22nd or the 23rd of 2017, they made a change to how associated websites work. And so you can have your associated website set up, you can have it all activated, but you're not able to add your associated websites to cards or to end screens unless you also have turned on the monetization for your account. So in other words, you have to come over here in your channel to get to this point, you come up to Creator Studio and go to the Creator Studio, go over here to Status and Features, and you're gonna need to, this would be listed as disabled if you're having this problem, click on Enable here, and then once you enable it, you're going to need to go through the steps. You're going to need to accept their terms. You're going to need to go up over and set up an AdSense account. And they're going to have a link here for you to set up an AdSense account. If you don't already have one, that's going to require you to also take the AdSense code and put it on your website. So they're given an extra step that you have to take right here. So you have to go over, sign up for AdSense, take the code that they give you, put it on one of your websites that you're trying to monetize so that you can track it. Then you can set your preferences of how you want to monetize. They give you several options. They require that you monetize the ads that they put up to the top right on the video page itself, but you can uncheck mark all of the options for advertising inside of your own videos. So you can get rid of that little banner in your ad, you can get rid of the in-stream ads at the beginning of the video, so you can get rid of all those. You can uncheck mark all of them, but they do require that you leave the desktop ads at the top right of the page on and then your, your channel will go into review. As you can see, my channel is still under review because I wanted to get this video out for you immediately to help you solve this problem if you ran into it because I was like super frustrated when I ran into it and I suspect you're the same if you're running into this problem. So now you do have to turn on the monetization and as you can see, even though they haven't fully approved my channel yet, I can now add the links on my videos again. So I can go into any of the videos and I can edit it and I can add cards and as you can see, my links are available again right here. And I can go through and create the cards for this. And it's the same thing over the end screens. So you need to go over, you need to turn on monetization. And as I said, you can look down in the description for the link over to, to the YouTube support forum where you can see them discussing the change made to the associated websites when you want to link to them in cards and end screens.